In the video world, we have one big problem and it starts with tripods and these little plates on top. And today I'm gonna show you how to fix all that. So if you've been doing videos, even just for a little bit of time, maybe you get a tripod like this Amazon Basic 60 inch that I recommend and have been using this one for the last four years in this office and it's worked really, really well. Only problem I noticed initially, especially coming from, I think it was like the 50 inch or 52 inch tripod, and then you get this one, is that these plates are very, very different. So most tripods people recommend are very different than like the Amazon Basics where all three of the legs are locked in together and you can't get a, a ton of functionality out of them outside of like indoor office spaces. But indoor, you're fine or just standing up. Even for traveling, these are fine tripods. But if you get into other types that um, can you know really extend out, or lay really flat on the ground or some have spikes on the bottom, they come up with a different plate. And that's very different than these. So enter the Arca Swiss plates. Now Arca Swiss is a company that everybody and their mother online has knocked off. They tend to look like this, maybe have a little leveler on there. And so what you do is you unscrew this and then you pop the plate out or you can slide them out. And you'll notice that they pretty much look like that. And then they're kind of like this on the end. And these can come in a ton of different sizes. They work honestly really well, but I don't like them. Now the problem is when you have a camera, you can go for like I did from Canon to Panasonic, back to Canon and then to Sony, to all of them having very, very different places of where they put this tripod thread mount. And for something like the G85, they're really close to the tip and so they can bump into the lens. And then for unfortunately on some of the Canon cameras that I've had, that they are, especially like the um, M6 and like the uh, M50, they're right over here near the door. So when you pop open your battery door, it's kind of in the place of the, the tripod mount and all of them being different sizes make it super frustrating. Enter the solution a quick release plate. And that's honestly what all of those systems are. It's just that some are different than others and some are faster than others. And I actually prefer those that actually click. So what I did was decide to basically get rid of all of those different plates and invest in my own. So that way when I actually wanna take a plate that's small and square, so that I don't have to worry about how I'm putting it into the plate with it being an equilateral shape, it'll be fine because I put it in there, clicked and it's done. And this is especially nice when you have stuff like these GoPro mounts that are ridged. And so you take something like a GoPro or a no pro knockoff or whatever, and that has to slide into there. And as long as it has that quarter 20 tripod thread mount, it will fit any of this other stuff. And the reason why I went with this one is because I can take something like my switch pot and that comes with its own ball head and the plate, but I don't need to do any kind of weirdo installation because it has a little silver threading on there that you can see that makes it fit regular tripod mount thread. So all I gotta do is screw this on here. So now I can take my camera that has my own quick release plates on there and just click it in. And when I wanna take it off, I can with just a click of the button and it's back off. Even better, I can use my phone mount, put the same quick release plate on there, and now this fits. Courtesy of SwitchPot is how I actually got this, and thankfully, SwitchPot gave me another one of these to give to you guys, and when I hit 10,000 subscribers. So thank you, SwitchPot, not sponsoring the video, but thanks anyway. So let's go back to the Amazon Basics tripod. If you still have this weird old kind of a plate, this is still pretty much going to block your battery door and all those different things. And if you wanna stick with the Arca Swiss one, I'll put down a little one because they do come in different sizes. Uh, so you can get a little one and it won't block the plate. So I'll put that link down in the description. So unfortunately on the Amazon Basics tripod, it won't let you remove the whole thing because it's like one big old plastic bulk system. But what you can do with these is still screw them in because it's still using a quarter 20 thre uh, thread and in this plate. So that little silver part, it can come out and it's just like an adapter, a little silver adapter. I now got the Amazon Basics tripod on my own quick release system. And this also works for when I wanna use something like my little Manfrotto Pixie and I can screw that on there and get the same kind of result or do the same with you know my camera. And now I can use this to vlog and if I wanna take it off, I'm taking it off very quickly 
without having to screw stuff on and off all the time. So if you're trying to deal with the plating systems that's coming on different tripods, or maybe you don't even wanna go with the Amazon Basics, you just wanna start at a really good tripod, you can really rotate these uh, ball plates out without breaking it, you're not trying to hack it, you're just simply replacing it. And I like this so much more than just continuing to figure out what fits and what doesn't. And this is a universal system that works for all of my cameras, all of my tripods, even little accessories or big ones, and it's like eight to $12. Best investment I've ever made. So don't put down in the description where you can pick this up from Amazon, and sometimes it comes from different sellers, but it's just really a universal product that's not by any specific brand name. And I get quite a bit of these just to make sure I can keep adapting any new tripod that I get that has different functionalities, keep the ball head or replace it if I want to, but the most important thing is replacing the plate. So let me know, does this help? And have you been having issues like this, maybe with your tripods and setup? So let me know down below and I'll see you in the next video.